shoes don't match my shirt. Comment down below. Alrighty. People love you. I have to take a thumbnail. <laughs> because I remember tie-dyeing shirts in 2011. I want to apologize for my appearance and my eyebrows and everything like that. I'm growing them out. I don't want to draw attention to it because maybe no one notices. But I'm growing them out so they're just like at a weird length. And I didn't really fill them in today like I kind of did because I thought I forgot my eyebrow pencil so I started like kind of going in with a uh, brown eyeshadow mm -hmm. I don't know because I was already like had makeup on and like a little bit of makeup on and I was going I was like putting on my makeup and I was like oh my goodness I don't have my eyebrow pencil and so I started going with the eyeshadow and then I lift up lifted up a towel and it was underneath the towel so I kind of like tried to fix it but I just gave up so that's why I look like the way I do does anyone else have this issue where they physically can't sleep in? My I love routine. If you watch my vlogs, you know I literally live in a routine. I love routine. So does my body, apparently, because it doesn't know when the weekend is here and my body clock is just constantly wanting to get me up. At like yesterday I woke up at like seven. <sighs> Today I woke up at eight. And like I went to bed late last night. I went to bed at like two. So, it's pretty great. So I need like a large coffee today. So I'm going to get us breakfast like we did last weekend. The breakfast from Starbucks is, in my opinion, really good. I like it. And Christian really liked it. He talked a lot of crap about it. He was like, Starbucks breakfast? Like, that doesn't even sound good. And he actually liked it. And it was one of his requests for this weekend. So. I'm okay with that because I love Starbucks and I go there anyway for coffee. So if I can kill two birds with one stone and get um, breakfast and coffee, then I'm all for it. But yesterday was such a bummer when touring apartments. One is two bedroom. They're not optimizing their space correctly. A king size bed wouldn't fit in here. Like the first one was the only one that we actually like liked. I can't tell if that's light that's shining through or my camera. Um, the first one was the only one that we actually liked. Like the second one just didn't make sense. Like they weren't optimizing their space. And there was like cutouts in the top of the wall. So you could technically hear everything if you were like trying to sleep. And I go to bed early and Christian stays up like he's a night owl. And um, it just wouldn't work. So, and then like the last three were kind of like outdated and they reminded me reminded me of like Italian like old Italian homes it was just weird and kind of outdated and if I was gonna be spending that much on an apartment to live in that's the same price as like an updated like looking apartment then why wouldn't I just go and like spend the money the same amount of money to get like a nice updated apartment with like nice stainless steel it doesn't even have to be I mean I guess I like stainless steel appliances I don't know so I mean I don't want to keep justifying myself because I've like made up my mind but we only like the first one which is a bummer because we're only like interested in like two apartments and um, apartment complexes we just, we only have like one that we like at the other place or like one model at the one place and we can't even do self-guided tours yet at the second place. Hopefully like next weekend they open up self-guided tours. 
because we're only like have two months away and I like want to plan and I want to look at my space where I'm going to be living and figure stuff out. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But we called like the place that we wanted to look at, like the second place yesterday and they haven't like approved the self-guided tours. I think it's easy at this first place that we looked at because they have like the keypad I think I mentioned that but they have like a keypad for codes to like punch in so that they just give you like the codes to the doors and um, like that's fine like they're not giving you keys like we're not coming in contact with really anyone so yeah so I don't know if I don't I looked at the pictures and like the videos online of like this the other place and they they don't have, like, looking at the doors, I don't think they have, like, the same type of code that you, like, enter to get in instead of using a key. So, does this look familiar? I feel so bad. I'm not coming to the Starbucks next weekend um, if we do this again for breakfast because we get, like, two egg white bites and got oatmeal, a bagel. So... I feel bad. I realized that I never talked about this shirt. I got this shirt on Etsy, so I didn't tie dye it myself because I'm not cool like everyone else. And yeah, I'm scared that if I tie dye something, I'm gonna mess it up like really bad. So I got it off Etsy. I can link the shop down below. Um, it's called Lemon Drop, I think. Her name's Lauren. Great name. Um, but she wrote me like a handwritten note told me to stay safe and I thought that was so sweet and like is like extra and great so sorry I'm like looking to make sure that I'm like not like walking this way um but yeah it's a su super cute shop and they also have other tie-dye stuff on the shop as well so if you love tie-dye and you don't want to tie-dye things yourself and it also comes cropped so cropped as well and um they're men's sizes and i just got a men's small um because i wanted it to kind of be form-fitting but like it's a men's small so it's still gonna be like a little bit loose and comfy so yeah that's my shirt I'm part of the tie-dye trend i love that it came back because like i think this is super cute and i love how people are bleaching their like sweatpants and stuff it's super cute so I love the trend. So I got all my stuff. Um, and I got Christian his favorite tea. I feel like by now people know my Starbucks order, but in case you're wondering. Okay, so I justify this because I only do this once a week or less. When I go to Starbucks, I do it. Um, and that's why I justify it because it's like once a week or less that I do it. But I put... So... During the week, I drink black coffee because I fast. So I don't add anything to my coffee, not even milk. And usually on Saturdays or if I'm off of work for a holiday or something, I'll dirty fast and I'll add milk. If you watch my vlogs, you know that I intermittent fast. I have a whole what I eat in a day video. I can link it up here. If you're interested in how I eat, what I eat regularly, like the, the idea of what I eat, and um what times i eat in the supplements that i take i can link that video so i intermittent fast so i just drink black coffee which is what you're supposed to do and then i do like the whole dirty fasting which i'm still not eating a meal but i'm adding milk to my coffee so it still breaks my fast um but just to keep my body on that same routine ish type of thing i do dirty fast so i don't have a meal or I'm not as strict so I won't like do the whole 16 hour I won't do the whole 16 hour fast window like I'll maybe cut it short or I just won't pay much attention to it over the weekends so that's what I do but um my coffee order back to this before I started rambling my coffee order is I get a venti I've been getting ventis it's like really bad um I got I get a venti iced coffee 
with three pumps of coffee nut and a splash of almond milk. And I think it's delicious and perfect. And when I do a grande, I get two pumps because I think with a tall, with like the smallest size at Starbucks, they put two pumps of toffee nut. And then with the grande, they put three. And then with the venti, they put four pumps. So I always just like cut down one because it's a lot of sugar to have in a coffee. Like four pumps is like the serving size. I looked up the pump serving size. There's like 50 grams of sugar, which is a lot of sugar. So, yeah, that's my coffee order. And now I'm heading back to eat. And maybe, fingers crossed, I take a nap today. But who knows, because I have a minty coffee and once I have coffee, I can't nap at all. So, yeah, that's, that's what's happening. But yeah, sometimes I just do regular almond milk or sometimes I just do light. Depends on what I'm in the mood for. I don't know if Starbucks has oat milk. Oat milk is such a trend, it's so funny how milk is like a trend. <laughs> but yeah, I love almond milk. I've always loved almond milk. Oat milk is good. They kind of taste a little bit similar, if I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Similar, similar, Sim similar, similar. Is that the correct way to say it, similar? sounds kind of right but it sounds weird at the same time okay i just made it back and i'm gonna go inside and eat he does yeah he just said score play on maybe score maybe score send a pick and hat goes wait what's he doing So I put the dried fruit and nuts on it. I'm not gonna put the brown sugar on it because I just think it's added and I don't need it and it's good without it. So the oatmeal, the classic oatmeal is so good from Starbucks. We're going to Target for the essentials like deodorant and Christian needs some stuff. I think he needs laundry detergent. So, ooh, she dumped all of her trash. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Toilet paper is cleared out. Just went to Target. I don't know if you can do this in my hair, but it's fun. I got a, a shot. This is a digestive one, but it has apple cider vinegar, which has good benefits as well. All the immunity shots are out. And I'm trying native deodorant again. I tried it before and it just didn't work, but I'm gonna give it a try again. Let's see if it works fine. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna roll out my back. I'm gonna move you though. Oh, did you hear that crack? Mm -hmm. How do you relax when you. It's hard to relax because I feel like I tense up. No, you gotta just loosen it up. Comment down below if any of your boyfriends watch live streams of other people playing video games. Please comment. There's no sports right now. I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Mission checking the mail. Um, it's gonna be so hot in here. I don't think I can do this. Where is he? Okay, he's coming. Um. We're actually going to Popeyes for dinner because I've never tried the Popeyes chicken sandwich and I know I'm super late to you're gonna fog up and you're starting to fog up. I know I'm super late to the game. It's so hot. As I was saying, I'm trying the Popeyes chicken sandwich 
and I know it's probably been out for like a year. This line for Popeyes is so long. It wraps all the way over there. Uh, spicy chicken sandwiches. Alright, so you want both of them to have fries? Or yeah. Both meals? Yeah. We'll, we'll do, uh, do a Pepsi, please, and a. Mm -hmm. Sierra Mist? A Pepsi. Pepsi. And what was the other Two one? Pepsi. Two, uh, one Sierra Mist, one Pepsi. Alrighty. One Sierra Mist. You Sierra Mist? I almost went Sierra Mist. Will that complete your order? That'll do it. This is so. Such a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good one. To take a thumbnail. <laughs> you want to hold one? You want to be in one? People love you. Got the spicy one. I give it like a seven or like an eight, maybe. I got the spicy one. Tastes really good, but I don't understand like the hype of people waiting. I'm currently leaving Christian's right now. Um, the Popeye's chicken sandwich, I expected it to be better, but I think it's because I got it spicy. I love spicy food, don't get me wrong, but I feel like all I tasted was spicy, which really isn't a flavor, but I couldn't taste anything because my tongue was on fire from the spiciness. So. Right now, I'm on my way home. I have to... Let me know if you guys want me to include this in a vlog. I mean, I don't know if this is gonna get, like, people are gonna be like, oh, that's weird. I'm about to go home and <laughs> detox my armpits <laughs> because since I'm switching to a natural deodorant, to make the process easier, you're supposed to use like a mask, like a clay mask mixed with apple cider vinegar on your armpits to make it easier. And I was like researching this like a while back and apparently your sweat isn't supposed to stink. But I don't know if this is TMI, but I mean, whatever, I really don't care. Um, your sweat isn't supposed to stink, but the reason that it does is because your pores are getting clogged with dirt, oil, moisture, and you're kind of just like masking it with a deodorant, and aluminum like plugs up your pores. So when you switch to natural, there's like a process of you're not smelling too great, and I'm trying to prevent that, so you detox your armpit with a clay mask and I'll show you the clay mask. I don't really use it because, hold on, I'm gonna pause this conversation because I don't like the red light on my face. Okay, back to what I was saying. I forget what I was saying. I use, oh, I remember. I use this clay mask. I used to use it before I went on Accutane, but since my skin doesn't really need like a harsh clay mask to like pull stuff out of my pores, I don't really use it. But I still have it just in case. So, I you mix that with apple cider vinegar and then kind of to like dilute it in water and then you put it on your armpits and you let it sit for 20 minutes and supposedly it's supposed to help pull out the aluminum and like dirt and like oil and stuff better and quicker than just like washing and kind of like exfoliating your skin on its own. But yeah, I'm gonna do this process so it's easier yeah let me know if you guys want me to include that in a vlog I don't know if anyone would be interested in that or if anyone didn't know but and I guess like after you switch you're kind of supposed to kind of like detox your armpits like every so often so it's gonna be a part of my routine I guess I feel like you're supposed to do it like every few weeks after you like make that transition. I don't know. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing when I get home. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and make sure you are subscribed and give this video a thumbs up and make sure to leave a comment down below if you want to see it in a vlog. I'm going to be doing it every week. Um, 
I don't know if I'll have time to do it like twice a week, but I'll try and make time to do the detox on the armpits twice a week just to make it a quicker, easier process. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys maybe want to see that. I don't know, or if it's weird. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.